Kati Chakrasana, standing side bend pose. Lifting your right hand up, take a deep breath in and open your chest and bending completely to your left side as much as you can. Remember one thing, try not to push forward or backward. Make sure you're only bending to your side and feeling the squeezing towards your left side of the waist. Make sure you don't push the shoulder up too near to your ear. Make sure your shoulders always stay back and neck is relaxed. That's called standing side bend pose or Kati Chakrasana. We can come back with inhalation. Exhale, hand down and we try other side. Left hand up, deep breath in and as you exhale, we bend other side. You relax your shoulder back and down, draw the belly in and hold it there for a couple of seconds. There are different variations which we can use. Those people are a bit more advanced practitioner. They can use the other hand as well on the top to do the side bending pose. Come back and release. There are a few more variations which we can discuss in this. Number one, you can lift your hands up, interlock your fingers and First two finger pointing up, others folding down, deep breath in and bend to your side. There are some other variation where you use your bottom hand to hold the top wrist and keep stretching to get a deeper side bending. Come back center. There are a few more variations. Open hands and bring it down. You can use your block to give a little bit more pulling action on the legs. You can pull the quadriceps, draw the belly in and you can hold the wrist. Make sure you push the down wrist to the side as well. Make sure to get a deeper stretching. Hold there for a couple of breath and you can come back, release your posture, take out the block and go back to Tadasana.